What's going on, everybody? If you're new here, welcome. If you're already subscribed, welcome back. My name is David, and my wife and I do all kinds of food content on this channel. So if you guys love all things food, and you like the uh, channel, you like the videos, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Give it a thumbs up. You know, share them with your friends and family. All that's free. It helps out the channel, and we'd greatly appreciate it. And also, if you're new here, we upload new food content videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. All right, guys. With all that said, you saw the thumbnail. Today, we're going to head over to the Burger World, and we're going to try uh, one of their $5 your-way meals. I think today I'm going to try the Wapa Jr. one. I believe it comes with the Wapa Jr., four kicking nuggets, some fries, and a soda pop. Dr. Pecker, of course. All right, guys, let's head on over to the Burger World. We'll see how everything's going over there. See if it's, uh, you know, up to snuff if I get the right order and it's in, uh, you know, presentable condition and fresh. We're going to try it out, guys. Let's see you over at the Burger World. All right, here we are at old Burger World again. All right, guys, let me run in there, grab this grub, and uh, find a place to park it, and I'll see you in a couple minutes. Well, there'll be a second for you be right back all right everybody we found a place to park it over here how's everybody doing today as always let me know where you're watching from leave it in the comments how's everybody going how was your weekend how was your weekend hope you had a great weekend i did got to spend some time with uh the wife and our daughter and her boyfriend we had a good time love doing family stuff all right and this one here, this Burger King Yowie meal, I believe you can get it with uh, that crappy, crispy cri uh, chicken sandwich we got last time. Uh, the chicken sandwich, this one, the Wapa Jr., and I don't know, something else. Well, let me know in the comments. I'm going to put the high chair back. Mm -hmm. What was that? Pete's sake. Let me know in the comments. What which one do you get if you even get them? Five dollar meal. I don't think it's a bad deal, but stay till the end. I'll give you my final thoughts and my comments. Get your fries from French. Get your little Whoppy, Whoppy Junior. Got some. Yeah, these are pressed and not real chicken nuggies. I went with the horny mustard sauce. As always, let me know in the comments what your favorite sauce is. I like honey mustard with the kick and nuggets. Or ranch. Everything's better with ranch. And one toddler drink. Look at the size of this bad rascal. You know what it is. If you've been around the channel for the last year. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dr. Pekka. But what if you need something else, Dave? Hammer. All right. Tuesday already. These weeks are flying by. Almost September already. Sunday. Sunday will be September first. Uh, all right. As always, gonna give you the reset. And like I said, I got the Your Way meal. One Whopper Junior. One four-piece nuggies, got the horny mustard, value fry, and a value Dr. Pekka. It was obviously five dollars and forty cents uh, Rhode Island no Vaseline tax. Five dollars and forty cents. What I'm telling you, it came to. What it would be in your state? I don't know. Just figure five buckaroos and uh, add the state tax. Now, this time I went in because I was curious. I'm like, let me see. Do they already have the order ready? Or do they actually make the food when you get there and go, hey, I got a mobile order for Dave? My findings were they make it when you say, hey, I got a mobile order for Dave. I I'm curious. What the hell do they have the app for? I'm just curious. What is the sense of having the app? If they don't make it when you place the order... They make it when you arrive 
What do I need the app for? I could just roll right up to one and go, hey, yeah, give me this, that, and the other. It's made at the same exact time, whether you got the app or you just drive right up like, you, you know, some crazy person off the street. I don't know. I mean, they do have digital exclusives. I'll give them that. But as far as just ordering something that you can just drive up and order, why not just drive up and order? I don't know. I don't know. It's just crazy things I think about. I can't help it. I don't know. All right. Let's get this uh, open here. I haven't had a Whopper Junior in forever. All right. Get our fries. Our little nuggies. Let's see. Hey. Oh, there is one on there. I always forget to tell them no onions. It doesn't bother me. Do you like no onions on your Whoppers? Uh, sometimes I can deal with onions on certain things. Sometimes I can't. And uh, that's another thing. I like to thank everybody for all your nice comments and your views and your thumbs up on Saturday's video. Which Saturday is always pizza day. We did the hot wiener pizza video. If you haven't seen that, head back in the videos. It's in the playlist. Check that out. Hot wiener pizza. All right, guys. As always, I'm going to bring you in here. You know, you can hook your peepers on it. See what you think, and uh, we'll get into this thing. All right, come take a look, Silu. All right, you know, you got your fries. I'm sure those are over salted, like every time I get it at this Burger King. Got your little nug nugs. We got the bun. Mm -hmm. When it cracks like that, I don't think it's the freshest thing going on in the world. Open up the uh, top. Got your mayonnaise. I put enough lettuce on this thing to choke a rabbit. Looks like the bun was a little toasted. Got your tomato. Pickles. One poor, defenseless, rotten piece of uh, oni oni on. And the ketchup. And pickles. All right. Isn't like a Wapa Junior like five bucks now? I don't know. And we got your little nug nugs. You got your nice ice cold poured by David, Dr. Pecker. And some horny mustard. All right, guys. Let me put you back up on the dash. Don't get into this thing for Pete's sake. All right, guys. You're back up on the yes all right and yes i do have napkins but guess what i put them in the bag i poured my own drink well like i said i wanted to go in this time and see what you know what goes on behind the scenes all right let's start off with some toddler a toddler size order of nuggets like i said i like the ones that make uh at KFC the best because they, they're they the ones that only appear to be made with real pieces of chicken. These just make, they seem just like McLoose's, you know, pressed together, God only knows what they call it, chicken. I don't know. All right, I'll try it bare ass first, then we'll give it the old uh, dip de dip 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 and the old horny mustard. I'm not sure if they keep these in the same container when they get it underneath the, uh, you know, the tannin lamps. They keep these in the same tray as the onion rings because I'm getting onion ring flavor, but. <sighs> All right, now we had it bare ass. I'm gonna try it with the horny mustard now. One coating of horny mustard. The 
if you've been around the channel for the last year, you know I'm I really uh, I'm really particular about my horny mustard. It's got too much uh, horseradish in it. It's all right, not bad. All right. My experience has always been at this particular one over here on Pontiac Ave in Cranston that um. Oh, for Pete's sake! You're in the parking lot. You don't need the sirens on. I'm doing a video over here for Pete's sake. Shh. Anyway, my uh, experience over at this one here on Pontiac Ave is that guy goes heavy-handed with the salt. Although it's he's not shaking the salt, I saw him put the salt on the fries that just come out. These are fresh, so I'm dumping them out. And they got this. Looks like an hourglass, I guess, is salt in it. You just pull the trigger once and pew, rainbow of salt all over you. So let's see. Try with some horny mustard. It's not a bad honey mustard. It's not too overpowering with the um, with the horseradish, which I like. The ones I really like is when you go to a, like a bar or a, you know a place like that, a restaurant, and they make their own in-house rant. Uh, Honey mustard, that's good. Dr. Pecker, man. Uh oh. They gotta get the handy dandy stand wheel tray hooked up here. I don't wanna get my new Trump shirt all, you know, get crumbs all over it. And you can find these uh, handy dandy stand wheel trays anywhere on the old interwebs. Just type it in, steering wheel tray. Enter. Very nice. All right, let's get into this toddler whopper. I swear, every year these sandwiches again. I understand it's a whopper junior, but good night. This is the size of a, like a breakfast sausage patty. Son of a monkey. That's why you need that tray. All right, one toddler whopper junior. Mm. You know, I, sometimes I'm disappointed at the size of the burgers, but I tell you what, that, that's got to be my favorite burger. And you can let me know in the comments what place your favorite burger is from, but as far as taste, I love the Burger King Flame Broil Wop uh, patties. I love them. Very nice. All right, guys, I think I've had enough of this to uh, give you guys some kind of score and conclusion of what I think. So let me get this mess clean up. I'll be right back with my final thoughts and my score. I'll be right back. All right, we got that mess cleaned up. I'm going to probably break it down uh, in little sections because, I mean, for five bucks, that's a great deal. You get the fries, you get the four, uh, I can't believe it's chicken nuggets. You get the uh, the little Whopper there and the, and the Dr. Pecker. You can't beat five bucks. It's a good, quick, fast lunch. I think the value is definitely a 10 out of 10. As far as, you know, the Dr. Peppers, a Dr. Pepper. It's about a six. I don't like soda. The fries, they were good, not oversalted this time. I give those about an eight. They were good. I know they were fresh. I saw the guy pour them into the thing, put the salt on them, and the other guy put them in the thing, bada boom, bada bing, in the bag, and away I went. So definitely fresh fries. Give them about an eight. Um, the chicken nuggets, <clears throat> I definitely don't care for. I give those about a four. I don't like those processed, put together, uh, dinosaur looking, happy meal crap pressed together chicken nuggets i don't care for those so those are about a four as far as that burger i'm telling you i don't care if you go there and get a whopper junior 
uh, angry Wapa or a mean Wapa or a angry grandpa Wapa, uh, a triple barbecue horseradish uh, kick in the eyeball Wapa. Those patties, flame broiled, are delicious. I love them. I'm going to give that Wapa Jr. a 10 out of 10. Uh, let me give no, a 9 out of 10. A 9 out of 10, because I don't think that bun was fresh. You saw it crack up like uh, somebody who needs that medication. But the rest of it was fresh. The lettuce seemed fresh. The tomatoes seemed fresh. That one poor little uh, oni oni on. It did seem fresh, even though it was, you know, just one little onion. The mayonnaise was good. I love those flame broiled burgers. I'm definitely gonna give that a 10 out of 10. I love the I love the burgers over at Burger World. So that's it. Now I think I've done all three of the uh, Yahweh meals. Uh, they got three different ones. And as always, it's getting late. I got to get out of here. I got things to do. If you stayed till the end, thank you very much, guys. We really do appreciate all your support. Stay until the end, giving it a thumbs up, you know, leaving a comment, subscribing, sharing the videos with your friends and family. All that stuff's free, and it helps us out. We do greatly appreciate it. So if you stayed till the end, thank you very much. We do appreciate it. And I'm going to get out of here. I'll see you guys on Thursday for another brand new food review. What it's going to be? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. You have to check it out on Thursday. I don't know. So I'll see you guys on Thursday. Again, thanks for staying till the end. You guys, have a blessed day. My name is David. And I'll see you guys on Thursday for another brand new food content video. Bye-bye.